Greetings Midgardians, Viking Gamer here, and this is part 3 of my total, uh, no, <laughs> Mountain Blade Bannerlord 2, Harald Fairhair, Full Map Conquest. Alright, that was a bit of a <laughs> shitty intro, but whatever. Uh, right, so last time we, uh, we got around to here, and we basically, we finished, we reunited our family, I believe. Yeah, we got we got the brother here, and uh, now we're basically doing the quest, the you know narratives fully. So we have we talked to Montrigan and Ragnvart, So now we're gonna go to uh, Batania and Vlandia, and then Azerai and then the Empire. I'm gonna like I said, I'm gonna be pausing in between each one because you like for just watching me run across the map is about as boring as it gets. So yeah. I was also thinking about the which group to put these guys. It's obviously like six says heavy infantry, but I'm actually gonna put them in an eight. And that's because during sieges, you know, your force gets split into a bunch of small groups, and they usually go to like six or seven. So the highest chance of getting them to control separately would be in the group eight. So that's what I'm gonna do. Also, while we're here, because I keep getting my ass handed to me, <laughs> I'm gonna buy some new stuff see if we can find something I mean weapons will be good uh, I thought it was a thousand how, how much do I have 10k all right let's just let's put this away Okay, that's cheap. We can get that straight away. The longer, whatever that means. Oh no, that's a, uh, yeah. You know what? No, I don't want Highland. I want throwing. A oh, raider. We are a raider after we are a Viking. Uh, iron rammed, reinforced, large round shield. Ah. Yeah, I mean, for now, that will do. And, uh... i go this way. 1,400. Yeah, let's focus on the weapons first. Yeah, let's get... Let's get an axe. Let's get the good axe. What is it? Battle axe. Uh, less handling and swing speed, but... More damage. And it's longer. And uh, simple, yeah, let's get that one as well. It's nearly all of our money, but at least we're like a bit more equipped for the journey. So I don't, if there's any battle, like if I get caught up by anyone, I'm obviously going to show that. But for the time being, uh, Sea Raider, 1500. Okay, I'm not going to do the armor. Even though it would probably would have been the smarter thing to buy, but I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that for now. Oh damn! All right, well, maybe one day. <laughs> I'll leave the armor for now. Maybe I'm gonna get something in the meantime from like battles or whatever, because I need some money to last it a while. Obviously, to be able to just run around. Uh, what's this? As I'm doing it, I'm gonna like check if there's any quests like that are relatively simple to do. It's basically just for money. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause it now to try and look for Kalador. So I'll see you in a second. All right, we're back. Took me absolutely forever to hunt this guy down. He's been getting away from me, running around the whole map. But yeah, here he is, hiking color dog. Can you tell me about anything about the battle? I'm a busy man, but there's always time to talk about the blessed battle of Pendrake. Our dear old beloved King Ariel, a wonderful man, but with a heart perhaps just a mite too tender, did not wish for us to go off to war, but then he disappeared, and I, his son-in-law, ascended to the kingship. 
How very convenient, isn't it? And the clans cried out for war. They had a hundred years of crimes against them to avenge. I, a father to my people, gave them what they wanted. Now, the Empire uses tricks and traps in war. No battalion fears to meet an Imperial soldier man to man, but we thought it would be a good laugh to use their tricks against them. So we laid an ambush on both sides of the wooded pass, and wouldn't you know, they marched right into it. They turned and twisted as our arrows rained down upon them, like fish going frantic in a pond as you draw the net tighter. Then, when they were greatly discomfited, we took up our falxes and, and swords and reaped the harvest. Oh, there was some unpleasantness later with the sturgeons, but the spo about the spoils of war, but what a grand old day it was. Thank you. I must leave now. Okay, so that's him. Now let's go hunt down... What's his name? Bam. Kingdoms. Landia. There, there he is. Dertheret. How was he? Uh, let's see how long he's going to be evading us. See you in a sec. Ah, oh, we're back. This one was relatively simple. I'm just chasing down, chasing him down now. Hopefully he won't be able to evade me for much longer. There he is. King Deltheret. Forgive me for what may seem an abundance caution, but please keep your distance. Just beyond sword length is fine. So what might you be? I mean, you're a king. You gotta protect yourself. Fair enough. I'm Harald Fairhair. Who are you? I am Derfer, King of the Vandians. I'm Lord of Gallant. Can you tell me anything about... I shall mark down your name. You shall, because... I shall create a kingdom of Norway, and I will destroy all of you. Can you tell me anything about the battle? It was a victory. Of the kind that is almost as bad as a defeat. We had given an oath to the Empire to join them if attacked. It seemed clear to me that we should have honoured our oath. That the Batanians and Sturgeons were aggressors, but there is always room to argue details. Ultimately, our barons did not wish to fight with the Empire, so they resisted coming to its help. Neretes, when he heard we were hesitating, sent us a message calling us cowards and traitors. And you say that to have landed noble at your peril. Neretes should have known what he was doing. We joined the Sturgeons. I did not fight in a battle. I stood on a hill telling my commanders where to go and who to attack. Why well, isn't that a classic medieval lord? Isn't it? And we did rather well, I think you've heard. Still, we took losses, heavy losses, and gained, tight, gained little. And for this, the barons blamed me, even though it was their idea to fight. I learned that day that a king should always lead, never follow. But it was a bitter lesson. Thank you. I must leave now. Alright, that's four down, six to go. Next, I'm gonna go to... Uh, well, I'm gonna go to Azurai next, unless I meet the guy from, what's his name, Lukon, from the Western Empire. So I'm going to meet the Azurai, this is Kunit, Unquit, something like that. Well, I might as well check. Oh, um, Kingdoms, Azurai, Unquit, there you go. It's last seen at Fana. Oh, right on the edge. Cool. So yeah, that, that's where I'm going to go next. And then after that, the rest of them are in the Empire. Because you do you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 5 of them around there. So yeah. Let's go. Okay, it was all of 10 seconds. And I encountered Garius, which is the Emperor of the Western Empire. So let's go straight to him. There you go. Emperor Garius. Forgive me for my seeing you. Just be on so blah, blah, blah. I'm Harald Fehe, I'm Garrus, rightful emperor of the Calradians, I'm lord of Yalmaris and Zionica. That's debatable, but okay. Can you tell me anything about the battle? Yes, we will never forget that day. Today we learned that the old men who claimed they had the right to rule us were doddering incompetence. I was with the vanguard. Neretzis apparently knew that the battalions had planned an ambush, because I had scouts who told him, but he never bothered to inform us. So, so up we went along a lovely wooded stream until the Batanian arrows started whooshing in from all sides. We had our shields, but you cannot point them in one direction at once, so we started to drop one by one, until the Batanian foxmen came screaming out of the trees. Ordinarily, they'd be very vulnerable to archers, but, well, old Neretzis hadn't thought to send any along with us, so they came upon us chopping and slashing, and we fought until we broke. I ran too. And any man who tells you he wouldn't, in those circumstances, is a liar. When I was sitting in the cold woods later that night, hiding with other fugitives, listening to the barbarian 
swoop and holler as they chopped off heads as trophies. I promised them that no Caradian Car soldier should again be led into battle by an emperor who knows so little of war. Thank you. Yeah, the, the, the empire thing is, I mean, they were one and then they split because if I understand it correctly, and feel free to correct me because I'm not sure, but like, the narrative is he died, then a different guy ascended to the throne, and then he died somehow, and his wife, the... What's her face? Rehetea or something, she rules southern, south... The sad, southern empire because basically he, they only had a daughter, Ira, and obviously... At the time, they didn't want a, a woman as a leader, so they just said, no, no, thank you. And that's where the split happened, because instead, this guy uh, kind of usurped the throne, saying, like, he's a soldier and he's going to take it, so he had a lot of military go with him. Then you had the Southern Empire, who stayed loyal to the former Empress and the, and her daughter. And then you have got the North one, which is just a Senate, who, who said they should be leading, like in the old days, like in Rome. So that's where the split came from. Anyway, I want to talk... Uh, yeah, yeah, is there... I know Lucon. Yeah, he's the... Yeah, he's the North Empire once. Okay, so let's stick to the plan. I just want to make sure they're not going to send me to, like, see someone... I don't know. Someone else in Vlandia. Yeah, I shouldn't be. I'm pretty sure it's five of them in the Empire, but I wanted to make sure. So yeah, I'll pause it now again until I hide down the Unquit. All right, we're back. Turns out he was in this area. I thought he was going to be in, so I was just about to pay bribe to enter the keep. And then he, there he is, just appeared out of nowhere. So let's go talk to him. I am Unquit, Sultan of the Azerai. I'm Lord of Quayaz and Sanala. Obviously, I'm going to be butchering all the names throughout this entire series. Can you tell me anything about the battle? It was a tragedy they ignored at the roots of all the great families of Colorado. Excuse me. Even ours so far away from the battle. We heard that the Empire was making war on Sturgeons, or maybe it was the other way around. I thought we had no stake in this quarrel, but Nimr, a fiery young hero from the Bani Saran, asked me for permission to take some young warriors, eager for glory. The Empire have left us alone for a while, and Eretis was offering silver for men, so I thought, why not? Let them help the Empire. Ah, should have known. The best cause with wars is to have as little to do with them as you possibly can. So Nimr went and fought, and won glory, but also got a number of men killed, especially those of the Banu Quilt. And he became boastful and arrogant, and then, well, that is the beginning of a great feud between Saranis and Quildis. But the rest of the story I should perhaps leave for someone else. Alright, I must leave. Cool. Let's go... Well, in that case... As that is, that's... That's that. We have Landia, Sturgia, Kuzai, Batania. We've got Western Empire. Let's go into Southern one. Let's go talk to her. Oh, Nira. Ooh, damn. Okay, uh... It's hot. I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go through here, just in case. And I'm gonna... Along the way, I'm gonna check if they wanna let me know about anyone else. But yeah, that's the plan. See you in a sec. Okay, so on the way, I found out that... This guy, Emir Adram, might have something to say as well. So, another Azerai. There we go. There was never a prouder moment for the Bani Saram. The brave is the most valiant son of our clan. Nimr led off a large group of Azerai warriors to fight for the Empire, for gold and glory. I went with them. When we saw the Batanian archers come down from the hills, Nimr was ready. He gave the word. We, gave, we held our shields over our heads as the arrows rained down. And threw our javelins and charged. We cut them down. And the Vlandian knights came. We were attacked on two sides and the Emperor, who could have sent men to save us, took his time. Perhaps he wanted the best of the Azerai to die, this would become too powerful later. But that betrayal was nothing compared to what we received from our fellow Azerai of the Banu Quil. Nemo returned in well-deserved glory. A daughter of the Banu Quil took an interest in him, and they had a secret affair as the youth sometimes do, as heroes do. But Nimr's acts wounded the Kildi's pride. They kidnapped him, slew him, and hung him in a cage in their market. We will forgive the Empire and the Vlandians. The Kildis. Better not ask me that. There you go. So we have a little conflict in the Azerai. That's why we had two of them. Three left. Right. 
still need to hand down her, and she's nowhere near. Right here. Yeah. She's clearly not here, because they're at war. Okay. I'm just going to actually check if by any chance the Kuzai might have one. Oh, you know what, not. Like, I'll just keep going with the Empire. See what... Uh, see if... Whatever, how many are in there, and then we'll potentially hand down a third one if necessary. But yeah, I'll pause it again. Alright, I managed to track her down in Chenops' castle, so let's go talk to her. I do not catch your name, I'm Haralder. Rightful Empress of the Calradians, I am Lady of Liquor. How about that? I've heard of you, it lies with me. You sound like a good man to know. Ooh, she's heard of me, how about that? Like we're getting famous. Can you tell me about the battle? Of course, I did not witness the battle, but my husband, Ernico, spoke frequently of it. There we go, we're gonna find out. He was one of the Emperor's trusted commanders. He could not stop Nerdsies from marching to defeat, but he managed to salvage something from the disaster. When the Sturgeons came over our barricades, he managed to lead a group of Nerdsies guardsmen out the back. My husband's small force held together and were joined by stragglers and fugitives. He described the march back. No food, little water, marching day and night to keep ahead of the enemy's outriders. But they survived. The only organized imperial force to do so. The city was in a state of panic after hearing rumors of what happened. Ironicus kept things from descending into chaos. When it came time for the Senate to choose the next emperor, there was no question that it should be him. I loved him before as a man, but that day learned to love him as a something more. What a gift he was to the people of Calradia. Thank you. If I ask about politics, she doesn't say how he died. We are the family of the martyred emperor. Every man wishes to leave what he has to his children, but be it a tiny patch of land or the imperial throne. Everyone in Karadia, rich or poor, grasps this. The universal principle of inheritance, not the obscure laws of the Senate, is what makes an emperor in the eyes of the people. I will strive to be a good empress, I'll do my best, but I know well, that whoever wins this civil war, lords will still cheat tenants, city guards will still demand bribes, warriors will still kill men to steal their cattle, drunken husbands will beat wives. The plague and the labor of childhood will take more lives than all the evils of man put together. Still, men are willing to fight for me, though it gains them nothing, for no other reason than the throne is my right. I will not betray these men. If I win in centuries to come, people will think back to my victory and think, heaven smile on those who fight for their rights. That is all I can do. Yeah. Okay, so it doesn't say. I just. I never found out how he died, and I and I want to know. <laughs> but yeah, Northern Empire, Lucon. Where you at? Up there. Okay, we have two left. We're gonna have to find out whoever is the last one. Oh yeah. By the way, in the meantime, just by going around, I gained a level. I put it to charm. Like I said, I want to blast it so it's completely full, and I got some cash. But I, found, I managed to farm somewhere where they wanted prisoners, and I already had some, so I just sold them for like 7k or something, so pretty decent. But I'm starting to run out of money again. For all the bribes I have to pay to enter the keep, even just to find out that there's no one there. So, yeah. Hopefully I won't have to do too many quests to finish this bit. Yeah, let me pause this again until we find him. Okay, yeah, we're back. I saw him run into Argoron. I'm just waiting outside, hoping he's gonna come out so I don't have to pay to enter the keep. But I'm gonna give it like a day, and if he doesn't, if he doesn't leave, I'll just go and pay it. Not much of a choice. Yeah. Okay, looks like he's sitting tight for a bit, so... Let's go. Talk! Who are you and what do you want? Wow, very, uh, very polite. Too fat, isn't it? Who are you? I have Lucon, rightful emperor of the Calradians. I'm lord of our uh, Can you tell me about the battle? Yes, I was a junior officer on Eretzi's star. People say much about the battle that betrays a lack of understanding of Eretzi's and of the circumstances he faced. Neretzes had an obligation to avenge the Batanian attacks on our land. He marched out with all the forces he could gather. The Vlandians betrayed us, but that's what you expect from honorless barbarians. Fortune favored the enemy. What matters is that we did what honor demanded. 
Perhaps Neretzis was rash, sending our infantry up into the hills to storm the battalion fort, but he thought he could grab the pass quickly before the enemy had time to reinforce it. If he had made the other wager, and that turned out to be wrong, people would say he was hesitant. That's very true. Einstein's 2020 and all that. After battle, everyone's a general. I stayed with Neretzis until we were forced back to our camp by the Sturgeon infantry and then fought on the battlements. Eventually, we could hold them no longer. I did not see what happened to Neretzis or to our banner. Irenikos got us out of there and I got us home. I have not respect Irenikos before, but that day I saw he was worthy to be emperor. And yet, you betrayed his family line and now you are an emperor somehow. Go figure. Alright, we got 9 out of 10. I have no idea who the last one is. So, I'm gonna have to try and find someone... Oh wait, there's other people in there. I can already enter the key, but bribery. Let's talk to her. Yeah, can you tell me about the battle? Penton. Alright, yeah. There you go, see, told you. Another empire guy. Siratus Castle, where is that? Oh, he's nearby. Okay, well, same deal. I'll pause it, I'll try and find him, and that should be that. And then we'll get to continue in the quest, I believe. Okay, so we're still trying to hunt down the guy. He's been running around the whole map and I'm still struggling to find him. But as you can see, I'm out of money. So I took a quest, Army of Poachers. We're going to try and negotiate with them. Uh, maybe we can talk. Alright, okay. 35, let's do 72%. You know, bad people, you can easily play a trace somewhere else. Ooh. Yes! Alright, success. Now, I made my point, and you can fuck off. Alright, cool. I mean, it's not amazing money, but it's shit, I'm out of food. That is bad. Let's get one butter. Let's get these guys. Damn. Okay, uh, if I go, if I slaughter them, I get some hides, get a little bit of money back. Okay, I've got 12 days food. Woo! Alright, well, I'm gonna be doing just like old quest here and there, probably right now, just to try and get some cash. Extortion. Alright, let's do that one. Let's go. We're here. I hope it's not too many, otherwise we'll lose. 28. This time we'll have to fight for it. Okay, well, we should win. Hopefully. Depends what kind of forces they bring. Alright, fellas. Where is... Where are you? Riders! Soldiers! Let's just put them in there. Like this. Move troops! Move! Infantry! Move! Everyone! Okay. Cavalry. Let's just transfer them to there for this one. Because. Footmen! Infantry! They don't have any special equipment just yet. Move! Where are they? Oh shit. Shield wall. Alright, let's try and get them down. Where are they? Okay, well those are gonna die. What happens? Damn, oh, that was that was close. Ah ha ha, got him. Where's the other one? Alright, shield wall, fellas! Let's go! Let's get ready! Shit. Cavs a problem. Okay, they're coming just from here. Three, four. Go! Alright, got one. Why are they running? Let's bring out this bad boy then. Woo! I 
don't know when I catch them. How many did we lose? None. All right, good stuff. Come here. Come here. No? If I can take the guy down and take his horse, catch the rest of them. I don't want to have to wait. Oh, there he is. is he, are you coming for me, bro? All right, let's go. Oh, shit. Wow, okay, that was bad. That was really bad. Okay, never mind then. We just need to get him down and then... Oh, both of them. Alright, come on, guys. Do your job. There you go, there's one. Where are you going? Ugh. Might as well get on my own horse then. Let's see what I can do. Alright, come to daddy. Just problem. <laughs> Got him. All right. Sixty-nine percent. Yeah. Nice. Uh, we got him. Uh, we need more soldiers. Cool. Uh, can we use any of this? Not me, but I believe not him either. But Till, there you go. Better than what you have. It's also better than what you have. Uh, you're not going to have a spear, so there's no point. All right, cool. We got some bits and bobs. Are we getting money? Yes. I hope. Talk. There you go. Thousands. Cool. And then if I sell the stuff that I just got from the battle, I should get a little bit of extra cash to be able to do something. Or to be able to hunt down the guy, but then I'm gonna probably have to continue doing quests because I need to make some cash to buy some things so then I can finish the quest because those two are gonna be rough. Like, there's two uh, hideout battles that are like quite hard because they become they custom, meaning that there's different uh, type of units in there. So, yeah. Okay, I'll pause it again until I find the guy. Okay, I managed to finally hunt him down. There he is. I am Penton of the House Nerdsies. Oh, aren't they the ones? Oh, he's his son. He's the son of the former Emperor. So why didn't he inherit the throne, throne then? What the fuck? Clearly. Oh, if they, oh, they voted for the other guy, right? Because he... Okay, yeah, fine. I mean, but then surely he should be leading the Senate. Uh, you know, whatever. I don't know. Not my place, I guess. We had no choice but to go to war. Anyone who tells you they would have done otherwise is either a liar or a coward or both. The Sturgeons attacked us and needed to be chastised. We lost an army and a banner. But we did not lose our honor, and with our honor, the empire would be finished. We lost because the Vlandians broke their oaths and fought us when they should have fought with us. I was given command of the cataphracts, and we easily crushed their crossbowmen. 
Their knights gave us more trouble. Meanwhile, the Sturgeon infantry came down and attacked our main force. That's when my father fell. The barbarians just kept coming and coming. I fought my way out with some loyal men and made my way back to the capital, but I found that Ironicos had got there before me and had himself declared emperor. He always was a cunning operator. There you go, that's how he explains it. If you want more information, there are two people you might try to speak to. Istiana worked as a sort of an unofficial spy master for Nerdsis. She lives near Epicrotea. Then there is Argazot, Arzagos, who was his bodyguard. He's supposed to be near Marunath. Dora he, Dora he, he's changed quite a bit since then. Thank you. I must leave now. There you go. That gives us the next part of the quest, and which is meet with them too. Which will then, you know, they will tell you the parts of the banner. But because I'm broke, I think what we'll have to do is, like I said, we're going to go back into uh, Sturgeon territory. I'm going to try and do some tournaments or something, or like quests and tournaments and whatever, just to try and get some equipment and money. Once I have that, we can go and deal with these two. Continue with the quest. So, yeah. They really, like, considering how long the quest is and how much resources you need to spend to actually get there, there really should be some kind of a money for that. I mean, obviously, it makes it makes no sense from like a life perspective because you're just finding information. Why would someone pay you for that? But yeah, out of trade. No, what, what quest do you got? What you want? Apollonia. I don't think you can help me. Oh, fuck off then. Uh, sorry for trying to help. Jeez. I'm grateful much. Uh, these guys cost a lot of cash, don't they? No, whatever. They'll die eventually. Okay, is there a quest? Fencing stolen goods? No, thank you. And no tournament. Alright, let's continue then. A lot of the quests that you do, like, they're eh, not very good idea, like, you get disownable, but you lose relations. Maybe if you do, like, a like a raider uh, playthrough, which I know some people have done that. Just raiding caravans and villages, and that's a good quest for you, but... Yeah, I feel like I should be accruing, because I can only do, like, one at a time. Oh, I doubt. Uh, yeah, you know what? There's there's good prisoners in there. There's usually some loot. Let's let's do it. Should be able to get some cash out of that, unless I die again. Oh shit! It's the forest one. They're gonna have a lot of archers. That is bad. Uh. Yeah, let's get them three because I don't mind if they die. Let's do it like this. Alright. Should all be in one group. I, I honestly don't know what this is. Like, it doesn't happen in any of my other campaigns. It's just some weird shit. Alright, uh... Let's just have them charge, I guess. 13. Damn, I'm so slow. I'm gonna have to invest into athletics as well. We have 4 in the charm. I think next one goes into athletics, just to catch up a bit. Then after that we can do charm again. Alright, cool. But prisoners, boys, prisoners. Thing is, they all have axes, don't you? Hmm. Axes don't really take prisoners, seems. Up. Cool, let's go. Okay. 
They didn't even get to it. Alright. <laughs> what was that? Oh, he's low back. I did get him. And there's one there. One there. And three there. I'm gonna try and get that guy. Shit. No, not, not, not Sturgeon. Should have killed the Kuzite one. I don't care about them. Got him. Good. All right. I have full health, so maybe I can. I can duel. I probably will, because otherwise they'll shoot us to bits. Ah, you've got quite a sway through my men there, damn you! How about we settle this one on one? Very well. Damn. Get a cheap shot in. Yes! Victory! At last! Yes! Woo! Alright, cool. Should get quite a few prisoners. We lost one of the soldiers, unfortunately, but... Yeah. At the end of the day, life is cheap, eh? Yeah, let's get the spear, man. It's gonna cost me money, but whatever. Uh, anything of use? Ooh, arm wraps. This is better than what you have. How about that? Look at that beer. Nice. Yeah, I would give him the bow, but there's no point. Because that's not what you're going to be. Um, I have five days to get to Sibir. Okay. Otherwise, I'll run out of money. The thing is, like, it always just reduces the morale first. And then, once the morale is low, then they start leaving. But, yeah. Slatka. I think she's one of the good ones because, obviously, like I said, later on we're gonna have to get a good wife and a good wife for my brother. Preferably ones, damn it, with good uh, stewardship because they're gonna have to be leading their own parties once we eventually make kingdom. So. No quests. Ah, tournament. Join. Let's see, probably get my axe kicked because I have no equipment. <laughs> Simple right of better axe. Well, I can give it to my brother if nothing else. I am not betting because I have no money. Oh shit, I'm an archer. Okay. Uh... Ow. Not good. Where's our guy? Where's the fourth one? Oh, he's there. Can I, like... There we go. That's better. I need to get them off the horses. Good. Oh, this is one guy. Ah, I got him. Alright, one round down. Wouldn't. Oh, shit, it's everyone against everyone. Alright then. Oh, it's my guy! Is it? Shit. Yes! Woo! 
I did just about, but got through. Uh, skip round. I'll bet on the last one if I'm through. Okay, 2v2. I have a... Alright, one down. Show him so he's got his back to the guy. There you go. Alright, good. Good stuff. Blood break scar. Well, let's hope he doesn't break mine, eh? Well, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Accidentally clipped on tab. Yes! Woo! Bit of bad it. <laughs> but it's okay. Temple Raider Battle Axe. Cool. Leave. Okay, oh, did I gain something? Oh, one handed. There we go. Your damage with accident mace is by 5%. Swing speed with one handed weapons. Now, this is the tricky part because I will be using axes a lot. But at the same time, like I said in the first episode, I think, there are no like super good axes late, late game. So I'll probably have to switch to a sword at some point. Unless you want to, you know, uh, smite, you know, smite them, blacksmith them, make them, like, craft them, that's the word I was looking for. But I don't really, I don't know if I want to do that, because it's such a ball ache, it would take forever to do. Uh, so, yeah, I, I'm going to stick to Swift Strike. It still gives me bonus, even if I'm using the, you know, and just weapons in general, any of them. So let's just do that. Let's go inventory. We can give him an axe. Damn, that's long stuff. Length 75, mine's 70. But yeah, there you go. We can sell that afterwards, I guess. Go trade. Sell the stuff. Gives us a thousand. Still have some food. Okay, let's keep going. Hide up. A reserator. Let's go. That should give us some solid equipment to sell. Maybe even use. Who knows? Attack. Okay. Uh you four. I don't want the spearmen. I want I want these guys with me. Just level them up. And, the, you know, those are more expandable. Let's just do that. And let's go. This one, you know, the Serrator ones are fine. They're a bit more spread out. Unlike the forest ones. The step abandoned ones are the worst. They're spread out, yes. But then, like, they, they're all shoe, they're all strong. The easiest ones are the mountain bandit ones. You got it. You get him. You get him. Well, that was terrible. Ah! Got him. Alright, got a little bit of cannibalism happening. Oh, come on, come on. You guys get him. I know, I get him. <laughs> Nailed it. Alright, do I feel like doing 1v1 against that guy? Nah, I think, I, I think I'll uh, play it safe. Stick with him. With the, with the group. They got six left. There's the one guy outside. 
one's gonna be in the tunnels, I guess, then. Since they're going their way. Some heavy steps, isn't it? Shield up. Oh, and then they're gonna double back, too, yeah. Imagine if I fell down now, bam, click B. Because <laughs> when it comes to hideouts, they won't finish it without you. Unless it's already a final battle and you're fighting against the boss. But like all of you, if it's a duel, you don't, obviously. Let's try and get some damage in. Ah, I nailed it. Cool. Now a dual time. It's got a lot of equipment. All right, ah, good, good stuff. Victory, no losses as well. Perfect. Uh, do I want? Yeah, I'll take the passes. They're cheap. We can get some soldiers out of it. Excellent. We have 13 prisoners. It would be very handy to find a. Let's get this and might as well slaughter it straight away. It would be very handy to. But what I was gonna say. Uh yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> what about this? Fifty-six, sixty-five, thirty-seven, twenty-one. That's rusty though. Yeah, it doesn't matter, you're supposed to have an axe, so and it's battered, but there you go. It will have to do for now. Let's get you with a scarf. Uh, the rest is just food and stuff. Cool. Inventory. Let's slaughter the cow. Cool. Uh, let's sell it again because yeah, we're desperate for money. Oh yes, and I was gonna say it would be, it would be good to find a, a village that wants laborers, because we have like some kind of high-valued ones, so that might be useful. What's this? Tools. I think I just checked it before, but whatever. Now let's keep going. Yeah, let's go Bulgard. Check if there's any. There's four more cities to check for like tournaments and stuff. So Arena, no. What quest is here? Herd, no, no. Oh shite. Go Omar. That's the thing about like them, they're so stretched out when it comes to like, you know, you get attacked on each side and then you just... It takes forever. Oh, Captured by Bounty Hunters. Excellent. That's a good one. I think he said a thousand. Where's the hideout? That way. That way. So let's go. Quests? No. Wait until nightfall. Ooh! Sister needs guidance. Alright, so we were putting them social intelligence because we need them to be governors. So obviously not a squire. Aids goes cunning. Apprentice. Intelligence. It's an engineering though. Find our way as an envoy. 
I mean, Cha would be better in this case. Help any oh, help anyone need. But it doesn't give the thing. Okay, well. Okay, let's go back then. Put her into apprentice. We need the intelligence. And then. Treats, injuries, assists. Focuses on. Uh, socializes with other engineers. So let's get a charm. Skill and charm. Okay, good. Good stuff. I mean, we need the stewardship more, but it's what it is. How how old is our other brother? He doesn't say. Oh well. What ifs? Party? Yeah, no. Eh. Let's see. Let's go attack. Let's bring the. Spring the warriors again and I don't want you. Ah, ah cool. Yeah, we need to get them up to become high level. Okay, all of these of peasants and recruits. I mean, we need at least like a solid core of infantry. Even if it's just like 10, 15, just to be able to do this kind of shit. Like that, right now, my main concern is to be able to do those two hideouts, and for that, all I need is nine men. So. Really? Through all of these, still hit me. See? That's why, that's why I have this thing up, even if I'm just walking. Too short. I think I hit him in a shield. To the throwing weapon is just so pointless. Maybe I should just get a spear, like to deal with cavalry when they're charging. But then, what am I gonna have? A spear, an axe, and a. Yeah. That'd be too much. So then I just have to keep putting points in the spear and whatnot. What poor arm. Alright, let's go. Because I'm not gonna be putting any points in the in the throwing, like it's just wasted points. I need to use so many, there, there's just no point. Since I'm not using it anyway. I'm gonna risk this. And risk pays off. Oh, one wounded, that's fine. I like it that it always stays in, like, just like this, just like hanging off. Okay, it's just one guy, we can deal with that. Oh ho ho, nice! One shot, one kill, two left. They're probably going to be upstairs sitting down in that thing, where they always are, and they'll deal with that. Alright, cool. Oh damn, six of them. Yeah, we're definitely the Julian. I didn't expect him. Oh shit! I did not expect him to switch weapons. God damn! And that was a quest as well, so it's gonna fail, isn't it? No, I have 28 days to come pick him up. Okay, well, let's go to the castle. And they're not letting me in. Uh, Alright, let's go to this town to replenish. And then we're gonna go back. I'm gonna probably pause it because I'm just gonna sit here for like a few days before I replenish and then we'll go back into the thing. Okay, I'm back. Uh, 
Unfortunately, as I'm waited, <laughs> I ran out of money. Your man's wages are late. I will consider this. Yeah, like pay. Unpaid wages, 20. Do I have debt? Oh, yeah. God damn, I need, to, I need to succeed this time around, otherwise... Otherwise, I am out of money. <laughs> and I'm screwed. Attack. Uh, you know what, this time around I'm bringing the best shit. I need it. Well, you know what, they weren't the problem, I was. I was the problem. Uh, yeah. Let's do the same as before. Still don't get this, but okay. Go. No, to stealth. The fucker can change weapons. Also, I should not have bought the new stuff. But then again, I wouldn't have been able to do this, so. With any measure of success. Oh, yeah, this time around, no risks. I'm sticking with the group. I might even have to just do a group fight rather than a duel. Because, yeah, I cannot afford to lose again. sell the prisoners that I had, the high class ones, just to get some cash for this, to get here. So yeah, uh, I don't know, it's really weird, because like, I find that, like, when I, when I was, when I find the ones that the one labor is, it's all like the Empire, the Sturgeons don't really do it that much, which is strange, like, you think that raiders like that would just be all over some, you know, free labor. But, alas, no. Uh, yeah. I mean, the Empire makes sense as well, of course, but, yeah. They lost a warrior. Okay. Do do I know? If it's just two guys, I'm not even gonna do like just have him have them there. But if it's like six of them, then it might be tricky. Thing is, they're not really dropping any good equipment. Like normally, like from these kind of hideouts and stuff, you get like decent stuff that you can put on, but not even. Can I, can I even get that? No, I'm not gonna do that, because then... You know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna try and be cheeky. I will do the duel, probably. Oh no, it's two guys. Fuck it, I'm not doing it. Nah, mm -mm. And I said I would, but... I gotta be... I gotta be safe. Ah, good. Good. Should give us a thousand or so. A few prisoners. Yeah, let's get the peasants. Uh, I'm not paying for upgrades, I can't afford it. So you already have that. Ooh! There we go! We talked about it, and here it is. There's no protection for the arms and legs, though. But better than nothing. 16. Yeah, you can have this.
All right, good. It's worth a few, few gold. There you go. We got a grand. That should be enough to get us to bar check. And yeah, yeah, it's them too. It's in this area, so it's good. Like we can go there right after. Hopefully, Need to wait for the day to be the day. What quests? Escort? No. Army of poachers? Yes, we're gonna do that. And is there? No, there isn't. But let's go trade. Do this. Good. And uh, we need. Now we're doing right food for now. Okay, two and a half k. Where is the? Oh, is there? All right. So we're on an hour. So I'm gonna end the episode here. Plan for next time. We're gonna do this quest. Maybe see if what 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 is here. Then continue up here to revel. Uh, see if there's quests and if there's a tournament. After that, uh, well, basically, we're going to have to keep doing quests until I get some cash. At which point, we're going to do the... These two. These two quests. Get the banners. Do the hideouts. But yeah, the equipment is scarce, and that's a problem. Alright, cool. Well, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Like and, sus like and subscribe if you did. And uh, I'll see you next time.